How are y'all? Worm here. So the letter from the live producer number 63 is just a couple of days away and this is going to include a number of announcements concerning the upcoming patch as well as some information regarding Endwalker and some other information. Now I mainly wanted to do this video because I just wanted to make a few points about why you should be watching this live letter and also some of the things that I think we're going to see in the upcoming live letter. Now this video is also an experiment for me because I kind of want to improve how my videos are made in terms of I don't want to beat around the bush and I kind of want to get my information out there quicker and to make sure that my videos don't end up being a long winded sort of thing. So let's get started. The trailer for patch 5.5. Now I think this is a given, we haven't actually gotten a trailer for this patch yet and the patch is just around the corner so I think more than likely as soon as the live letter begins it's going to start with the Death Unto Dawn live patch trailer and this is something I'm definitely looking forward to as is everybody else. Information regarding the upcoming patch 5.5 Death Unto Dawn. Now I think this is a given as well, they'll give us most of the information regarding what this patch is going to entail as well as some information and elaboration into what is actually going to be done in the patch itself. Now as you've probably already seen the patch website has also been updated again, they've gone into information regarding some of the upcoming trial fights as well as some changes to the Ashgardian restoration and a few other things as well so definitely check out this website. But I think in the live letter we're going to get much more elaboration and much more detail regarding what this patch is going to be about. An extended Endwalker teaser trailer. Now I think this is something that's actually going to happen in the live letter maybe halfway through or just towards the end. Mainly I think this because this is going to be likely the last live letter before FanFest and therefore before Endwalker's release. Now why I say an extended teaser trailer is because the teaser trailers for an expansion have mainly been based around the three fan fests. So at the first fan fest we get a teaser trailer, the next fan fest we get an extended teaser trailer, and then at the final fan fest we get the full trailer for the expansion. So I think, given the fact of the landscape that we actually have right now, we're only getting one digital fan fest, we've already gotten the teaser in the announcement showcase, I think this live editor will give us the extended teaser, and then finally in the digital fan fest we'll actually get the full trailer. Endwalker information that was revealed in the extended teaser. Now because the teaser will be extended it will include a lot more information a lot more detail regarding what the story is going to be as some of the other things that is actually going to be included. So I think in the live letter we're actually going to elaborate on those features that we see in the extended trailer and therefore we'll probably get a lot more information regarding the Endwalker expansion as a result. More information and detail regarding the PS5 port of Final Fantasy XIV. Now they've spared no expense in actually advertising this and they've been shoving it in their face for a while now. Everybody is excited about it. And I think the live letter is going to go into much more detail regarding what this is going to be about and showing us some much needed footage and gameplay regarding the open beta. Information about FanFest 2021. Now as I've said this is the last live letter before the actual FanFest comes around. FanFest is actually in May. So we're going to get some information regarding FanFest 2021. I think that's a given, given the fact that it is so close. Now they have a website dedicated to FanFest already up as you can see in front of the screen here. And they've been giving us a lot of information already regarding what the FanFest is going to entail. Like there's a hell of a lot of information in here. So if you haven't checked this website out yet, I definitely recommend you check it out. As you can see, we're 44 days away. But I think the live letter is going to go into much more detail regarding FanFest, as well as some of the in-game activities which they've already advertised is going to be happening. Merchandise, merchandise, merchandise. Now, live letters have always been about merchandise. They constantly go into these very long segments regarding new features that you can purchase. And to be honest, we all understand that. It's kind of boring, but we all understand it. Everybody loves merchandise though. I love merchandise myself. So this is definitely going to be something they're going to be advertising as well. I'm hoping to see some of the actual new shirts regarding FanFest because I am on the fence about buying some, mainly because the sizes tend to be really weird when it comes to FanFest shirts. But the merchandise is always an exciting thing, so look out for that. And to be honest everyone, that's everything I actually wanted to go into. Now, as I already said, this was kind of an experiment video for me as well. I'm just trying to get more confident behind the microphone. But I just wanted to leave this little point regarding the live letter. I highly recommend you take some time to actually watch it as soon as it goes live on Friday. Especially if you have some friends, you just rope them in and just watch it together. These sort of events, they're fun to watch on your own, but they're even better when you have a community to share it with. 
Also, just the thing, I'm going to be streaming it as well. I'm going to be watching it with the Fan Events Discord. So feel free to join along with me and I'll be answering questions in the stream as well. I'll be interacting with you guys as well. I kind of want to get a bit more into actually streaming some content as well. So that's going to be another kind of experiment for me, but I just mainly want to talk to you guys. Like you guys have so many opinions, so many theories. I'd love to actually hear your opinions regarding the live ladder. And everyone, that's everything I wanted to do. I'll see you all on Friday, I hope. And if I don't see you, thank you as always and have a good one.